Hey everybody, it's Chris here, and um, I just got back from my oncologist office, and um, I got got these today. Um, thought about a few things. These are copies of my my scans, the three PET scans I've had so far. Um, I've got another one scheduled for December sixteenth. Um, I haven't viewed them yet, I debated this, I thought about, um, should I just put them up, you know, and never even see them, because I've never seen them at all, the doctor hasn't even showed me these, so I don't know what's on these, I don't know what to expect, um, and I thought about, well, should I wait for my wife to get home and view them with her? I thought, well, she might get, you know, pretty torn up about it. I don't know, honestly, how I'm going to react. And I spoke with her, and, you know, I've decided, why not just share it with the world? Yeah, um, like I said, I, I don't know what to expect. I mean, first of all, if, if you haven't seen my backstory, if you're new to this or just seeing this, um, Long story short, um, I was diagnosed with stage 4 Hodgkin's lymphoma on January 31st, 2014. Um, as of my last scan, they said that it looked all clear. There's, they couldn't see anything as far as they could tell. Um, and my, like I just said, my next scan is scheduled December 16th of 2014. Um... So yeah, without further ado, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna do this in real time. This is my first scan, which was taken on January 29th of this year. I can get the stupid tray out and get this working. Hold on, <laughs> doing this all in real time. You'll be seeing it with me for the first time. Um, like I said, I don't know what to expect. I don't even know what this looks like. Um, just from what I heard from the doctor. It's... Bad? Okay, I don't even... Get... Brief, brief with me, so I just gotta... Um, Okay, apparently I have to, I'm just going to click auto run and see what happens. I have no, I'm, I just put this in for the first time, so, yeah. Let's see what happens. Okay, I got an install program apparently. Sorry if I would have known all this advance, but hey, like, I'm trying to just do this for the first time. Yeah, limitation liability. Okay, whatever, I agree. And here we go. Wow, that is a lot of pictures. I had no idea. <laughs> okay, apparently this is a CT of what? Okay, I guess it's going down my body. If I can explain what I'm seeing, it's like a 3D cross section of my body frame by frame going, moving down. And wow, it's 
See, I've never viewed this or anything like this, so I didn't know what to expect. These are slices. Do they have an... I guess I was expecting kind of like a full image. It's it's hard it's so hard to describe what I'm seeing right now. It's like if you took your body and just sliced down like you're chopping a carrot or something and looked at the cross sections. Now, okay, now it's starting back over back at my skull. And then I see where it goes into Oh my gosh. Is there any way to view? Whew. Okay, well, I don't know how I can share this and um, post it because it's so many pictures. I don't know how I'm going to edit that in, but um. I'm assuming all this bright white is where the cancer is at. That's at least what I presume is supposed to be. Let me make it go a little faster. Oh wow, I saw a lot of... see something real quick. Okay, so I guess that's how it works. I, this is different than what I expected it would be. Um, Okay, I can tell what everything is. It's just kind of like, like I said, like a cross-section piece by piece. As opposed to like a full surrounded body scan. It's going through my body and... Right now I'm seeing like... It's just lit up everywhere. I see spots as it's going through my midsection. Wow. And there's the kidneys, digestive system. That's the bottom of my spine, there's my hips, pelvis, legs. So here's what I'm trying to figure out is because starting from it starts from the head, the top of the head. And if all the white Well, let me see what I can do. Let me pop in disc two, and that way I can compare. So I'm gonna pop it out. There we go. 
I'm sorry, this might end up being boring, but I thought this was literally going to be like, you know, see, I had no idea what to expect. I thought it was going to be like, like a full body image or something, but it's actually a cross section. Now here's my next one where they said it was significantly decreased, so I can go off of this and... if what I thought was cancer in the first one was alright let's see how this one starts obviously the same way it's going to start with the cross section the top of my head I just gotta wait on all the images to load here. Oh, wow. I'm not a doctor, so I really, I mean, I, I kind of, I, I can tell what things are. I'm just not quite sure what exactly is the cancer at the moment. Okay, I see some spots that, see all the bones already look lit up, so I don't know if that means cancer. Going down, okay, I, I definitely see, wow. Moving down into my di digestive system, um. That doesn't look much better to me, but as far it doesn't look worse either, by any means. Okay, so I'm assuming either the cancer is in all my bones or my bones just light up automatically. Because they're still lighting up and now here we go out the uh out the other end, so to speak. There's my pelvis. It's noticeably less light than it was. And... From the legs. Alright, well that's disc two. Now, sorry, I close the application first. Um, I'm sorry, I know this video is going to run long, but hey, it is what it is, right? As long as it's this long, there's a few things I may want to talk about after this, too. But I'm going to view the uh, third and final scan now. Sorry I won't be able to actually share them over this video like I thought I would. Um, that's probably a good thing for you guys, though, because I just, just realized you can see my junk in them anyway. And, um... Yeah, that's not very YouTube friendly or friendly for anybody for that matter. Um, here comes the third scan. This was taken August 7th. Okay, already I can see the walls of my skull, I believe. It looks considerably less. Alright, moving down through my skull. Okay, I see my teeth, my jawbone. See my spine starting to form. Here comes shoulders and arms. Okay, so by now I'm just assuming that um, the bones just light up anyway, or at least that's what I hope, because this is the scan that they told me 
everything looked like it was gone. Right now, what I can tell you I'm looking at is down, I see my shoulder blades, um, the start of my arms, and apparently what looks like into my chest cavity, I see my lungs, but I still see looks almost like the same spots to me. But like I said, I'm no doctor, so maybe that's nothing. I did smoke for many years. That's another thing I should throw in there. See a lot of just random, I still see something lighting up. Now we're moving down to the stomach. From the intestines, the rest of the digestive system, I see my kidneys. Um, it does look considerably better than the last two. But I still saw a few spots of something. I guess maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's something they're not concerned about. And out the legs. See, this is different. I, I, I totally thought this was going to be like a whole body view. Um, I don't know if there's any way to change perspective. Sorry, this is a... This program that it's in, I don't know. Something made by GE for viewing this, so I apologize. see any other options to view this other than just by cross-section oh wow uh, well that was crazy I guess it's always crazy to see the inner workings of your body um, at least I'm glad I didn't break down because I didn't know what to expect like I said, if I understood more of what I was seeing, then who knows. All I know is the first scan was definitely significantly worse than the last one. I could see like white spots, like blips lit up um, pretty much throughout my entire body. And um, by the last scan, they were... I still saw what could be considered a few blips. I don't know if, like I said, I'm not a doctor, so maybe that's nothing. Maybe it's something normal or like a scar tissue or calcium or I guess they know what the difference is and all my blood work's been coming back good, so. Um, right now I feel... I'm not really sure how I feel. It's like... You know, kind of disappointed when you you think you build something up in your mind to be something specific, and then out comes something that I don't really understand. Um, like I said, I could see where it was going through, but I don't know. There's no annotations or anything saying like what is or isn't cancer in any of the photos. There's like, if I can describe it, it's like. 200 plus photos on each disc that um, you basically play as like a stop motion animation of cross sections of my body. Um, 
I do know enough to know what I was looking at body-wise. I knew I could identify the parts of my body as I saw them as the scan progressed, you know, through. Um, like I said, I just saw a lot, a lot of white blips. Um, I'm assuming that's what where the cancer was. Maybe that's the, you know, lymphatic system, the lymph nodes that it was in. Um... Now I feel left with a lot more questions than answers, and I guess I just wanted to share this moment because of another problem. You know, nobody realizes the, you know, everybody sees me now with hair, and then you have the No Shave November thing going on, and I think, you know, Chris is okay. Chris is back to health. Well, cancer stays with you forever, whether you like it or not. Even if it leaves your body, you're in remission, it could come back. If if it don't, great. But cancer never leaves your psyche. It's always in your mind. Um, you never stop thinking about it. It may take me many years, if ever, um, to get over it. When I go back to the cancer center now, I have, you know, panic attacks, like, almost like a, like a, like a PTSD kind of thing, maybe. Um, like severe anxiety. I have my good days, I have my bad days. Um, my good days, I'll get on here and talk about stuff and, you know, make somebody smile. Hopefully, I made somebody smile in this video. I mean, somewhere at some point. I try. <laughs> and, um... Then I'll have my really bad days where... I feel... Disconnected... From everybody. You know, friends, family... Um, even... Even my own son, and... The only thing I can think of, the only reason I can think of that I feel that way, it's not any of their fault. It's the fact that I feel disconnected because they can't understand what it's like inside my head, and it's very, very hard for them to deal with that. And, um... I try my best to explain it, but there's really, unless you have or, well, I guess you always technically have cancer, but whether you're going through treatment now or you're in remission, um, you're the only person really that understands it. So the best thing that you can do is connect with other people that have been in your shoes. Um, I thank God for Gilda's Club because that place has helped me like so far I mean I've only been going a few weeks you know maybe a month now somewhere but that place has helped exponentially I mean even with just like filling time you know meeting all these wonderful people that just you know that you're not alone you're not the only person that feels that way um so if you're somebody watching this right now and you've stuck around this full time, thank you for watching one. Um, just know that you are not alone and there are many, many others out there that feel the same way that you do. You can be angry at the world. You can be angry at yourself. Um, you can be angry with other people for no particular reason, just because... They don't have cancer, and they're happy. I mean, it, it happens. It's a part of the process. And um, if there's anything you can take out of this video today, just take out of this video. If you're going through this alone like I did for, well, I didn't go, I didn't go through treatment alone, but for months I went through this mental battle, mental struggle alone. Because nobody can understand. So get out there. Um, join join a support group. 
see a therapist, do whatever you have to do, and don't let the cancer win. Even if it's gone from your system, if you let it get inside your mind and beat you up, it's still winning. And I've decided, you know, I'm not going to live in fear of my own body. And that may sound stupid to some of those, or if you're watching and you don't have cancer, but if you do, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You don't have to live in fear of your own body. There's other people out there just like you, you can connect with, become friends with. All you have to do is just make a phone call, you know, a quick Google search will find you anything, especially if you have a Gildas Club in your area, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go there. That is, and you know, not just for you, for if your family too, it's, it's the entire family, it is, throughout this whole journey, it's, it's one up there one of the greatest things, you know, besides getting good health reports that has happened, and um, being able to connect with, you know, like-minded people, people in the same situation, people who feel the same way. Everybody has bad days, but everybody has good days, too. And it's okay to have a bad day. Just don't let it beat you up. Um, I'm going to wrap it up here. This is an extremely long video, sorry. If, if you're still around, bless you, because, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know very many people that stick around for videos this long these days, but I know there was a lot of stuff in there where it was like me staring at a screen, um, but just do a search, make a call, get connected with people. People aren't bad after all. Have a good day.